Hey everyone, this is Tom here from the Blue Root team, here to show you how you can create an out of office or auto reply in your Zoho Mail. So here is just a Zoho Mail account that I have up, um, and I'll walk you through how you can create an auto reply for it. So if I go here, I can just hit settings and that's your starting point. So just clicking settings in this area here takes me to this screen. And so this is the settings. You can see there's a lot of different settings. But the one that I'm going to focus on is this out of office. So I'm simply going to click here and it takes me to the out of office page. And so if one already exists or something that you've already created, you, it'll be able to see it right here. If not, there'll be a button there that just says, you know, create a new out of office. It should be quite obvious. <clears throat> Once you have this existing here or when you click create a new auto reply, this is what's going to show up. So I click it and you can see it gives you basically the options to define what your auto reply looks like. So going through kind of each of them step by step, you say, okay, when do I, who do I want to send this auto reply to? Everyone, just people who are consider my contacts or non, just non contacts as an example. And so each of these are exists for different reasons and you can choose them. I'm going to choose everyone here. The start date, you can choose that. So what's nice is I could say, okay, I know I'm going to be on vacation next week. So why don't I set it to be, you know, starting next week at 9.30 a.m. One thing to note, and why don't this go to, I don't know, the Friday of the following week. One thing to note though is this won't work if you do it in the past. So when this video is created, it was the 23rd of January. So by doing this, it's not going to let me do it. But even if what it will allow me to do is put a time in the past. So right now it's about uh, seven o'clock at night. And if I do this, then my auto reply actually won't be activated. So just always make sure it's something in the future. So I'm gonna say 9 p.m. and it goes to the following week. So always make sure it's there. <clears throat> and so then it's saying, do you want to always include certain days, certain time intervals, and you can just select them all. This one's kind of a cool one here. It says, okay, auto respond for how many one, how many days? So this is saying, okay, if someone emails me, it's gonna give an auto reply. If they keep emailing me that day, I'm not going to keep pinging them, but I'm going to give an auto reply every one day. So you can make it one day. Some people like making it every three days or something like that. And that's all variable variable. And then finally you can have this one mark as busy on your calendar. Since the whole mail is also a calendar, it'll mark this off. So people can't book meetings with you. If you are using something like, let's say Zoho bookings. So this allows you to do that. Then finally, you get to choose your message. So here's the subject line here, what you want and keep it simple out of office is fine. And then you can just write what you think you'd want to say in your email as an auto reply. You can put in fun things if you want. I've seen a whole bunch of things, links, whatever it is, it's all available to you. And then all you'd have to do is hit save. And then that's done. And now your out of office has been updated. So that's it. That's all you got to do. And now as people email you, they're going to get your auto response. Thanks for your time, guys. As always, please give us suggestions in the comments of what you want to see next so we can make sure that we're uh, providing videos that you guys find really valuable. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave any comments in the section below.